bling, blah, how you like me now? Call me Mr. Bogey, I got so much style. So much soul to raise your eyebrow. Back with another video right now. So, this is another one that doesn't have an actual video to it. This is one that I did um, maybe last week. If you remember when I put up the first video of the new ghost box at the cemetery, well, it was either the next day or that night I went to the one that's down from Sarah's mom's. And I've made a video from down there before. Every time I go to this certain cemetery, I just I feel weird, like literally like someone's right behind you. And I don't talk a lot in this. Most of the things that I'm asking them, I do it telepathically. I just say it in my mind because it's literally right next to two houses. And, you know, don't want to be out there and draw suspicion to myself or whatever. So, there's some crazy responses in this. Right here, you're going to hear, I don't want anything, or I do not want anything. I had seen this grave, and I was drawn to it. The lady was like 87, and at first, I thought her husband was also deceased because his name was on there. Then I figured out he wasn't. He's like 92. But here I'm asking if he has anything to say or whatever. And I'm also using a different reverb thing as an experiment. So guys, let me know how the replies sound. Uh, the little bit of times that I do talk, it sounds really muffled. So I'm just mainly pay attention to the responses. Okay, because if I use this technique in the future, I'll make it to where my voice doesn't sound so muffled. But this sounds like it says Trey, which is my nickname. Your sister's here. And then you hear, hey, bogey. And right here, you'll hear what sounds like a kid. It says, help me, right as I start to talk. Which, later in the video, someone says, I know your sister. Bogey, I know your sister. Then it says her name, Melanie. So, very strange. There's the hay bogey. Now, do you hear that? It's really in the background, but it sounds like a kid. You can hear the help really good, but the me is like right as I'm talking. Really bad. Right here, you're going to hear a strange laugh like, ha oh. ha. So, right here, I'm kind of praying that Imogene, which was her name, Surrounded by loved ones and that uh, the Lord take her to, uh, in his loving embrace or whatever. And then the laugh. So you have taken Imogene Sperling into your loving embrace. But she is now surrounded by family. You hear that? Now, all these replies is using the S box, ghost box. And then I say right here, um, and her husband, I think. 
and by her husband. At that point, you know, I saw his name there. I thought he was deceased, like I said. And then there's a reply that says, and her kid, or and her kids. And then a really clear EVP that says, I ain't no fun. <laughs> Man, that's really loud. Let's see. Her husband, Walter. Her husband, Walter. See right here, you can see where it gets quieter. I turned the ghost box off or pulled it away from the recorder so I had to boost it to hear what the EVPs were I do this I just continued with what I had Hear that how it's so much lower. I ain't no and then I still got some of the fun. That's really low. That's why it sounds like that. I had to boost it pretty loud just to hear what it said. Her husband Walter. I hear is thank you. Walter is still alive. Now, at first I wrote down, we love the hat. That's what I heard. <laughs> Which made no sense. I wasn't wearing a hat. But I'm saying Walter is still alive, and it sounds like they say, we love that. Okay, now here again is where they say, I know your sister. And then it says her name, Melon. I know your sister. Now, can you hear where it says her name? Melanie. Now, I haven't talked to my sister years. We used to get along, but we don't anymore. And I won't go into the details, but I will just say that it wouldn't surprise me if my sister was to, she's a lot darker than I am. I wouldn't be surprised if she hasn't tried to put a curse on me or something like that, honestly. So this kind of worries me. I pray your sister's here. And I had to actually look up to see if she was still alive. <laughs> I knew I'd probably hear that she wasn't. That's weird. Your sister's here. I hear it says, I know your sister. Um, right here. Um, the male voice that says, Chris Spokey. Hard to hear, I'm speaking. Now, this one is a whisper that says my name. You might be able to hear that, you might not. Um, right here, someone says, Who is this? Then someone says, Someone get down here. It's almost like playing something. I don't know. What? That sounds like it's saying F me or something. 
Don't F me. Which? Don't F me. Okay. There's the who is this. I'm telling you guys, I had a weird feeling. That one's really hard to hear. But someone, it, it's kind of easy to hear it, and then I hear it. Right here, it sounds like they say, I want one. I think they're talking about the radio that goes by. In the jeans or anything, you would like me. Anything you would like me to tell Walter. Now, right here, it sounds like it says he's the prophet. I don't know if they're talking about Walter, her husband. And then someone goes, who said that? And then a high-pitched voice says, it was me. It was me is really fast. It was me. What is, he's the prophet. Now right here, I hear, Chris, your mom is here. Chris, your mom is something. It either says with me, your mom is with me, or your mom is Cindy, because that was her name. I can't really tell. It's really low. That almost sounds like going up. Help me. Listen to this. They say, heard you are the devil. Now, it reminds me that I've heard something like that before. It's almost like they are on the other side or trapped between here and there. And whoever's like keeping them there or like they're saying, help me. And a lot of times someone's being mean to them. So I don't know if they can hear me and they're telling them that I'm evil or whoever's trying to, Communicate with them. Is you know what I mean? But listen, heard you are the devil. So clear. Are you alive? Once again, a whisper of my name, Chris.
Okay. Now, right here, a female says, go get bogey. Then, a male voice says, really? Now, I remember a couple videos back when I was asking, I was at the cemetery, and I said, who killed Shanann? And kind of hillbilly voice says, ah, dear. I swear to you, it sounds like the same dude. And this is a different cemetery, of course. Really? So clear. But the go-get bogey's kind of low. Go get bogey. Go get bogey. And this reply, I believe, is for one of you watching the video. It says, Robert loves you. Robert loves you. So, please, in the comments, let me know. Let me see. Robert. Now, is this my mom saying I forgive you? Because, like I said before, where I had to make the decision to take her off life support, and I feel like it's my fault. Deep down, I know that she really wouldn't blame me for that. Hearing her say I forgive you. Nice. I hear so many replies when I listen. No, he wasn't. Oh, he says, do you still love me? Do you love me? Hey, listen. And then has nothing to say. Um, okay, so here is where I come up on this gravestone. And it was shaped kind of like an egg. It was massive. I'm telling you, it was taller than me. But it was also sitting on a square that was two feet tall. So it made it even taller. But the actual gravestone, I'd say, was... I say six feet. And I say right here I'm saying that. I'm like, it's gotta be at least six feet. And it sounds like a reply says five and six inches. Which makes me want to go back out there and like see how long it really is. And if it's five feet and six inches and then a voice says, Chris, look behind you. Oh, yeah. Almost six foot tall. Hear that? Five and six inches. I'm gonna go out there and measure. Oh, anybody sees me, they're gonna think this dude's lost his mind. He's out here measuring the gravestone. Listen to that. Chris, look behind you. I'm telling you, it's a weird feeling that I get at the cemetery. <sighs> it did feel like someone was behind me. Every time I go out there.
Who was that? Chris? Hold on here. Okay. Right here, it sounds like they say, you are a target, Chris. <laughs> You are a target, Chris. Raising the father. Satan. Satan is something. What do you guys hear? Satan isn't right. I'm Jason. Here's my last name, Bogey. Possibly my last name again. Erica. I am Erica. And remember when I told you guys that a lot of times with the ghost box, especially the voice that is being portrayed, they're using the frequencies to form those words. Okay. It's rare that you hear someone's actual voice. That's why sometimes like this, I am Erica. The I am sounds like a dude. And the Erica sounds like a girl. The am actually starts out like a guy goes to, it's weird. That's clear, the Erica is so clear. You are... Can you come in get me? Right here, I think I hear Jason again. Is that saying Jesus? Where is he? I hope they're not saying, Jesus, where is he? Listen how clear that is. Female voice saying, hey, bogey. You can hear how many stations it's going through, and it's the same on this. Who? 
is it? Who is this? Right here, it sounds like they say, Chris, you ought to stay with us. It's hard to hear you. That sounds like my last name, too. I hear thank you. Pokey, thank you. Just say Bogey, you have got a chance. Please help me. Bogey, you have got a chance. Please help me. That sounds like it says, you are psychic. You're a psychic. Sounds like Satan. I'm asleep. That's what that X noise is. Now, right here, this, this is messed up. It says, you look just like your dead mommy. Here. 
You guys hear that? I mean, it's so clear. How clear is my last name there? God. Anyone's crazy if they're telling me that they're not saying my last name. How many bogeys do you know? I'm willing to bet that in your whole life, you have never known anyone with the last name Bogey. Now see if you're if you get X noise and you use it and this part sounds fantastic with X noise, right? But then right here, let's say you stop your ghost box or something, and this is all one large audio. Split it. That's what I do. So right here. See look, trim event. So I split it. And then that makes this one. A whole new thing. See, watch. I can make this one the X noise be way up here. This one is like that. Because that makes this one a whole different audio. That's why you see a lot of the splits. That's what they are. This sounds like he does pray. This is toward the end of it. I remember I started just feeling so weird. I don't know. It's very, there's a weird energy there. <laughs> But right here, let's see. I kind of hear a thank you. I am now closing the lines of communication. The connection is going to be closed. When I stop recording, I ask that you go back where you were. You may not follow me. Yeah, that's pretty much all of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. For those of you that subscribed for my communication with Shanann Watts, I promise I will be doing that again. Um, 
I plan to do it this coming weekend. I'm going to go to Columbia where the ghost box works a little bit better. And uh, I'm probably going to go to like a park or something. I'm going to find somewhere to go that's not a ghost box. Try to reach out to Shanann. Try to get more answers. Latest up to date things that she has told me is that Chris Watts pretty much watched uh, Nicole Kessinger, killed her and the kids. Uh, when they said they used a t shirt, I'm pretty sure that they did that so handprints wasn't on her throat. Put a, a t shirt over her throat and choked her. They keep saying something about an officer or cop. Was the cop involved? Kind of afraid to really push into that and get answers because I'm pretty sure that Nicole is, she knows about these videos. Pretty sure of it. And, you know, if I start getting information on this cop, you know, how that can go. But, anyways, just wanted to let you guys know that I am going to be doing more sessions reaching out to Shanann. Thank you for watching. I think my next item that I want to get is Ovilus. Hey, Noah. Huh? He just woke up from his nap. Anyways, talk to you guys later.